Welcome to Love Them Knives Channel, LTK here. What do we got? We have probably a group of knives that's going to fill some people's bucket list as far as what they've wanted to see tested. And right now, we're going to look at them. Here's the list so you can pause and read, and we'll be right back. All right, my amigos, we have a big mess of knives here. We've got Best Tech. One guy, viewer, just the other day posted, says, can't believe you haven't done any Best Tech testing. And here I had this batch sitting, you know, right there on my table, already back from testing. And I said, yeah, I think we're going to do that pretty quick. So the Shinkansen, Hornet, Paladin, and Ornetta over here, Psh, NOC, the MTO3, really cool, M390, where's that made? They're their own company. And then, of course, the PS de Resistance is the FH21 and FH31 in D2 by Ganzo. Are they a surprise? It just makes you shake your head. It really makes you shake your head. Uh, it's insane. In any case, oh, and oh, my buddy Justin at White Mountain Knives, check this out. Of course, he this is his exclusive run, right, from Poltergeist Works, Collaborative, Real Steel, The Control, and D2. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, Spyderco also had a viewer say, Spyderco, could you do some of the steels like the S110, S90? We didn't get the S90. S110, S30V Amalgam, and the Rex 45. Whoo, baby. We're going to drop a big one. And then the Shard, the Civivi Shard in what they call Chinese D2. Chinese D2. They don't billboard their blades up at all. Really cool as well. So let's get with it, folks, right now. And at the end, at the end, I'll bring up the pictures that Kurt takes. Kurt, our super duper duper knife testing guy. Also, he does the tests. He gets to, you know, you know he gets to play with all these knives too. You know, it's like, ah, these are so cool because, you know, can you think of the opportunity you get when you get a batch of 15 or 20 knives there, you know, over a period of time, 100 or more knives of different ones that you hadn't seen before and you didn't have the opportunity to go through them? Uh, there you go. They're sitting on your lap. You get it. Yeah, you got to test them and do all the hard work. But hey, um, you get to actually lay your hands on them and, you know, gives you a, an, a better idea of what you'd really like to buy. Also, Blade Banter, give you a link to his site. He's keeping the spreadsheet. I will include a link to the spreadsheet. It will give you all this data. Elements, advertised HRC versus actual HRC that we got. Advertised blade steel versus actual blade steel that we tested. All the elements, who contributed the knife, whether it was Love Them Knives, Blade Banter, whoever and that kind of thing and you know the brand the name and the model so you'll get to see a lot of different knives in there that were tested and you know any little notes might be in there too the chromium was a bit high Ooh, you know it was yeah it was grade five titanium but you know there was some silicon interference with the scan blah 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 that kind of thing so i'll give you the links to all that plus a link to how an XRF analyzer gun works, or PMI gun as we call it, and also an article as to why the light elements like carbon are not picked up by these particular test guns and exp explains how the test is done uh, and, and how those elements are retaken up before they get back to be registered, etc. So, you're going to get all that information there. Let's talk about these knives. What did we find out? Are they the real deal, Holyfield? Once again, here's the list. 
So I really dumped on poor old Kurt here. I mean, but we did four best tech knives, two buck and bear knives, um, one that they sent to me, the crocodile flipper, one I picked up on a trade. Uh, and of course I got these myself. That's fancy right there. There's your one chance fancy. Don't let me down. So here we go. I had to do that. I had to do that. You know me. Okay. Spider Co Amalgam. S30V is real. Surprise? No, of course not. But we wanted to test the HRC, 60.7. Good boy, Mr. Amalgam. Love this knife, love it. I know people are going, uh, eh, the flipper tab comes up, hits me in the finger. They could do without this, they really could. I didn't get to speak with Sal uh, when I went to the Blade Show, I mean, to the <laughs> Blade Show, to the SHOT Show 2019, but yeah, I could probably do without it too, but I can live with it. And I'll tell you what, me and Kurt both think this is like the cat's pajamas. This is really our prayer answered of everything that we really would like to change about the full military. Because this is almost as big overall as the military, but it gives you tip down, tip up, right, left, all that kind of option that you don't get on this, yet it still gives you a nice big flat grind blade. Um, and... I think a better mechanism. I like the compression lock better than I like this little liner lock thing. So it's really so handy and incredibly flickable. So love this amalgam. Absolutely. And did it test out? Test like a champ. Test it like a champ. So like I'm saying, here you go. There's your elemental readout. Okay. And your chromium. So yeah. Very stainless. Okay, there you go. And um, next, we're not jumbling all the spider codes together. We're going to go in and order the Best Tech Ornetta M390. Yes, it's real. Okay. Of course, it doesn't say match here. It would give a readout if the software suite of this gun had those uh, programs loaded in it, like I've said on all my videos. This gun is for their kind of steel fabrication. It will read D2. It will read cop. Well, it won't. It won't actually say copper if it does copper, like I did on the handles of the Natrix. Um, but it'll give you, you know, you down in the copper, it'll go, whoosh, yeah. And here, no. But I mean, the other one was 97%, whatever the real copper. In any case, so no, it won't say anything. These are lined up with an actual known S30V or whatever, M390. And so they're compared and then it goes, okay, it's a match then. So we have we already have these on file, but they're not in the software suite because that's not what they do at this steel fab place. So sorry, I just got a little wordy with that. There we go. Best Tech Ornetta, M390. Yes, it's real. HRC 57.3. Now, that's that's not great on the HRC, okay? It's not even 58. Um, I talked with the best tech people when I saw them at SHOT Show 2019. I gave them these numbers. I showed them the HRC picture, uh, the testing, and they said it should be between 59 and 61. So they're gonna go back and uh, take another look at the heat treat. I know we did Buck knives, the little 110s from SK Blades um, that were the ultralight 110s, and they were CPM 154s done by Boz Heat Treat. And, you know, they went from a, like a 50, 59.7 to a 61 something. So there was like two grades off. So uh, even the American Heat Treated you know, by the master himself, there's, I mean, that'd be like this one being 57.3 and then the next one being a 59.3, uh, that, that kind of variance. So that's a lot. Um, so we'll have to see. May have got a bad one. They might have a next Ornetto might be a 61. God only knows. But we only test the one. We'll follow these up later because these didn't test as good on the HRC as we would like 
So I will test again on the best tech. Uh, not all best tech, just this one here. I'm talking about and or M390 in general that they put out an M390 model again. I will test again. There's your elemental breakout. Done. Okay. Scales. Scales. Here you go. Best tech. TI64. Um, it didn't show the um, the TI64 here, um, but he said it was TI64. So um, apparently the initial reading did read TI64. It may not have held the scan all the way through because it has to go so long and hold that scan. Obviously, you can see the titanium here. So yes. So there's the scales. Good deal. And that's what I'm talking about, the Ornetta, this one right here, this bad mamma jamma. Okay, uh, collaboration with the Polish Knife designer, the Shinkensen right here. Let's talk about that one next. And this is an S35. This is not an M390. This is S35 now. Busting back up here. Again. A 56.7 on the HRC scale. Yes, it's rest, it's real S35VN. <sighs> Just, yeah. It needs to be higher. It needs to at least be a 58. It'd be nice if it was a 59. So here's your elemental breakdown. And like I said, I've talked to Best Tech. I will follow up. We will see what's going on. Um, but yes, it's the real deal. It's just the HRC, a little low. Didn't leave it in the oven long enough, apparently. So next, we're going to talk about the Shinkansen scales. And they did hold the match. So, you know, if you, the Ornetta did not hold it. Obviously, using the same damn titanium for the Shinkansen as they are for the Ornetta. And yes, it did hold the scan all the way through. So every once in a while, you know, it'll start saying TI-64. It won't hold the scan, so it'll say no match. But this one, it held the scan, and here you go. Here's the readout. Okay. Don't mean to rush you. 40, 12 minutes in. I don't think you feel rushed either, do you? Best Tech Hornet. Now, it's real D2. And here's my Hornet. I left the lanyard on and everything. What the heck? So, I love these Hornets. I think they're crazy good. D2 steel. Love the action on them. Feels so solid. Ugh. In any case, 59.2. Okay, I'll live with that. Would it be better if it was 61? Yeah, maybe. But uh, 59.2 will work for me. And here you go. Here's your printout. And of course, note that you can click on the link. You can see all these posted on the spreadsheet. Take another look. Paladin. Love that Paladin. Probably one of the most sensible knives I've ever held in my hand. The Paladin, short of like the PM2, that kind of thing. This is D2. Just a great, good looking, usable, sensible, ergonomic knife from Best Tech. I'll tell you what, it's really hard to argue with the Best Tech G10 D2 series knives. It's just incredible. In any case, here we go. Paladin. And the HRC is 58. So, not overwhelmed there. But not, not scared either. So, eh, would I have liked it to have been a solid 60? Yeah, I would have. 61? Yeah, even better. And there's your printout. So, I will communicate to them... Yeah, you're, you're making it on the D2. It'd be nice to cook it up a little bit more. But the uh, S35 and M390, a mm, uh, bit of a concern there. So it's a real deal. It's all in the heat treat, my friends. Okay, here we go, the Damascus tracker. This thing is like, I don't know what the heck the story is on this knife. But, you know, I guess if I dressed up all in leather with some big old tall leather boots and buckles and straps and gear and, you know, I don't know what, then I'd fit in with this thing. But this don't fit me now. And uh, it's Damascus. Uh, so, interesting look. Kind of a bad boy looking. Doesn't look to me like it's 
the most usable, practical design in the world. But I guess maybe, um, you know, it'll do some stuff reasonably well. I'm trying to think what it would be. Um, Damascus, low, oil, low alloy carbon steel. He kicked it three times on the HRC and it tested along this blade anywhere. And I don't know if I can see all the little test divots. It'd be a little tough. Well, there's one right there. And there's another one there. And there's another one there. So he kicked it three different times. 48 to 56, somewhere all, all gathered up. Now, I would say that's probably not the uh, <clears throat> hardest steel that's ever rolled out. But, I, you know, I don't know on this Damascus stuff. That's why I kind of shy away from Damascus. I mean, I like Damasteel, but other types of Damascus, I just don't know what's in them specifically. So give me a good old S35, uh, you know, or hell, I don't know, a VG10 or whatever, or a D2, then do this fancy little pattern stuff um you know on a user outdoor knife which i don't know if this is anyhow but still yikes um here's the elemental breakdown uh, not iron in that sucker not <laughs> what about that chromium nada so yes i mean obviously this knife would rust very easily um, and because it's uh, carbon steel, and there you go. Um, not my cup of tea, but I just thought I'd throw it in there because a lot of their knives have this Damascus on it, and it's like, give me this. Give me this. I mean, because this is D2 steel, right? Which happens to be our next test. And look at this. Look at this. HRC is 60. D2. Crocodile flipper. Okay. This baby actually uh, made the grade here. So, like I'm saying, it's got, and his note here is slightly lower chromium. So let's go down here. Yeah, yeah, you would think you'd be, uh, you know, at 11 something to 12 on that. So it is a little less. Uh, you know, I have a semi stainless, a little bit more prone to corrosion than a 12%. But there you go. You've got a coated blade anyhow. So don't mess up. Don't don't be complaining. Still, I like it. The action's pretty good on it. So it's a hit and miss. Um, you know, I could pass on the Damascus. Give me a good old D2 steel. A uh, good HRC on there. I'm good to go, right? And so there's your elementals. Okay, out next. Let's talk about the Civivi Shard. And in their description, I thought it was interesting that they're saying, of course, it's made, you know, by Wii knives and stuff. Civivi Shard, and they're going Chinese D2. Did you notice how they're saying that? Instead of just D2 steel? So that made me wonder, is that like a 12CR? Or you mean like that Chinese equivalent D2? Well, it's... Check out the sheet. Interesting. Um, it's real D2. I mean, it, it, it scans as D2. Let's take a look at the chromium down here. Yeah, it is a little lower than you'd see on a lot of, chrom on, on a lot of uh, regular D2, isn't it? That is strange. Now, the 12CR would be much higher chromium than this. So this is more like a D2, D2 than like a 12 CR thing, HRC 59.8. So they, yeah, they cooked it long enough. It should be a good little cutter actually. Uh, I don't see a problem with this. Tell me if, I, if I'm missing something, but uh, yeah, not as high on the chromium scale there. Interesting though, why they call it Chinese D2. It really lines up more like with an American and and Kurt never made any notes like low on chromium or anything that I could see. No. So, okay. Uh, oh, get ready. Drum roll. Right? We're going to do the Ganzo. We're going down Ganzo Lane. Ganzo FH21. This will knock you out. This will make you laugh. 
uh, because it's just ridiculous, right? 23 bucks, 23 bucks. And it's got, it's got uh, bearings, right? Look at that drop. Beautiful, centered, flips like a dream. D2 blade, they say it is. This is hilarious. Okay, it's a 62 HRC. Oh my God, Ganzo. I mean, doesn't that just like, like a, like a mule kicking you right in the rib cage? All the fancy knives out there, all the damn money you're spending, this and that and the other, and what really comes through with like a, like a rocket is a $23 shooter. Completely crazy. And there's your chromium. That's it. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay, now so check this out. Here we go to the 31. The next and final insult to all of us who think the fancy knives rule and these little beater shooters are kind of iffy. Uh, you can see your little HRC mark on here. The 31. Come on, man. No, 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 no. It's real D2. 61.2. 61.2 HRC. Oh, my God. Look at that. Yeah, D2. In any case, so here's your composition. It just makes me laugh. It's just hysterical, I think. And there you go. I mean, that formula is holding. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, best $23 you'll ever spend, my friend. If you want a D2 blade, it'll probably lay down the chutzpah on whatever um to me it looks good i'd really be interested in you guys that are using the fh 11 21 31 12 13 ss whatever um let me know because this is insane this is insane uh i don't get the the opportunity and you know my shoulder is kind of bum on me so to sit there and do a bunch of cut down on a lot of boxes and doing sisal rope and stuff. Nah, that and and then I've got an elbow thing on on this side too. So, um, in any case, I would be really interested in somebody really putting the wood to these and reporting back to me on that how they how they work for you. Okay, Spyderco Military the Rex Forty Five. Okay, this is no. I, I think we got a lot of bombshells in here, but this thing, bada boom. It's the bada boom. It really is. Check the HRC out on this. 67. 67. No, that's not a typo. <laughs> I mean, it was an exclamation point. I can't remember. Oh, there it goes. There's, there's Kurt. 67. Um, okay, here's your elementals, right? So... This is not a big chromium thing. That's why they have that big silica pouch in there when they ship this thing. Yeah, it can rust. But here you go. There's your elementals. But is that crazy? That ought to do something right there, my friend. I mean, they got that one. They got that one put together. That, I mean, the only thing I've seen higher than that was that carbide, tungsten carbide knife from Sandrin which was a 72, but this is a 67. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's absolutely hilarious. I love it. Hell, that's, there, there's your knife right there. Um, okay, NOC. So this is NOC Knife Company. Okay, and I, I got this knife, and I really like it. It's like a chef's knife. I guess that's kind of what they call it anyhow. Somewhere they got that printed on 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 here yeah here it is chef back in here uh mt03 m390 flicks out so nice it's so light slender easy to open um you know hey was like 160 bucks something like that and it comes in a nice hard case over there check that out that's cool okay enough chit chat um hrc 58.7 yeah, you know, I mean, we're getting spoiled, right? 67 and 62, 61 point. Okay, 
But still, it passes muster. Okay, here we go. And here's your breakout. Got some chromium in that, baby. Whew. Okay. Um, really interesting. I, looks well made to me. I'm very pleased with that. And how about the scales? Are they really titanium? Well, are they? Well, what does it say right here? TI-6-4. There you go. Grade 5 titanium. Absolutely. And here's your elementals. Yeah, I think there's some titanium in there. So that was cool. So that thing checked out. And OC, um, they used to be an OEM for a lot of probably very prominent brands that they're not going to talk about. Um, but they're making a knife. They're making a knife. So fancy, here's your one chance. <laughs> Beat that to death. Right? Fancy. You've been on my table a long time. She's been gone for a while, and she got a divot. She got a divot. So what do you got, girl? Are you going to carry the torch here? Oh, baby. Check that out. 60.9. Almost a 61 on the HRC S110V. Real deal, Holyfield. And here's your print. So she did not disappoint, did she? Wow. Fancy, you're the real deal. And, oh, talk about the real deal, Holyfield. Check this out. I like this one. I know it's the half and half, War of the Worlds. I bitch and moan about this stuff all the time. But you know what? It comes to just a user knife. And I consider this just like, just a, you know, raw user knife, kind of beastie thing. Eh, I can live with it. What the hell? Life is full of compromises. So, the control, especially when it's a blue G10 scale. You know how I like that. In any case, is it real D2? What do you think? And the HRC is 60. Bingo. Okay. So, we're in good shape here. And you look at the chromium. Okay, it's about 12%. Not quite, but yeah. It's good, solid D2. HRC 60. Man, I'll tell you what, this has been a batch, hasn't it? I, I, I've run you almost 30 minutes, and I'm going to do the slideshow. You can click out. You don't have to look at the pictures or the testing or whatever if you don't want. Just remember, got all the links down there so you can see, you know, how the analyzer works, why light elements don't register. Uh, click to the spreadsheet so you can see all the knives that were tested, if they were liars, if they were real, and what the real HRCs were that we picked up through our testing. So, on to the slideshow, my friend. Okay, we got knife test uh, pictures. That looks like the amalgam. I may not be able to identify all these knives. It's dark in here, so I'm not going to look at my table. I'm not going to look at my HRC sheets. You want to see the HRCs? Click on the link. Look at the spreadsheet. Go back in the video to where I showed you on air. There's the amalgam, and obviously, almost a 61, like 60.7, uh, 60 something like that. Can't remember for sure. And there you go. There's the Ornetta from Best Tech. Yikes, you know, 57 point, what, three, something like that. So, okay, and, uh, oh, Shinkansen. From Best Tech, 56.7. Mm -mm -mm. Got to get that number up. And here's the Hornet from Best Tech. Well, that's over a 59. So, okay. D2. And there's the Paladin. And it's a 58 solid on the head. So, okay. Um, here's that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here's the Buck and Bear Tracker. Bump and bottom at uh, 56 point, maybe one or two. Another one, whoops, 48 point something. Another one, there's those three tests, right? Oh, that's a 56.1 type thing. Um, okay, here's the Civivi Shard. In the Chinese D2, which tests as real D2, is a 59, almost a 60. Okay. The Buck and Bear D2, 
Yes, and it tested 60 right on. So there you go, the crocodile, good knife, uh, should be. Uh, there's the shard again, which I guess I hit twice. And, and there's our uh, 21, our Ganzo, FH21, look at that, a 62, 62.1 probably, according to that dial. And there's the the 31, and it's a 61.2, something like that. So, whew, those tested like a dream, didn't they? NOC, okay. Okay, you know, not quite a 59, but 58.6 right in there. Not too shabby. And there's our Rex. Look at this. Look at this. A 67. I mean, it's not down here. It's over here. Right? Whew. Baby. That's some stuff. And here's Fancy. She ain't letting you down there. Almost a 61. That'll work. That'll work. And there's my control. Our real steel control. 60 right on the button. Not too shabby. And here's your... Oh, uh, there's the amalgam. Okay. Mm, Ornetta. Your readouts. Uh, Hornet. Of course, it says D2. There's your readout. Uh, Ornetta scales. TI64. See, it did that. See how many seconds... 4.4 seconds, still holding that scan, but didn't hold it all the way through. That's why it said no match. Shinkansen, there you go. It says new, no match. Uh, oh, no, 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 this is the blade. I'm sorry, S35. Yes, it is. Thought they were doing the scales there. I'm blind in one eye. DS, uh, TS2, I'm not blind in one eye. It's just the old saying, blind in one eye, can't see out of the other. Uh, D2. And there you go with the Paladin. And there you go with the scales on the Shinkansen, six, uh, TI-64. Not a problem. There's your uh, Buck and Bear Crocodile, D2. Uh, there's your uh, Tracker from Buck and Bear. Civivi Shard. And, of course, it tests as D2. And so does the Ganzo. That's the FH31. Uh, FH21. Test says D2. There's our Rex 45. Obviously, that may be trying to name it as something that's close to, their, to what's in their software suite. But it gives you the elemental breakdown. And here's the NOC on the Blade M390. NOC... TI-64, that's the titanium scales. A lot of stuff going on here. And there's the control, D2, uh, the real steel. And that's fancy. And S110V, it's great stuff. Love it. Thank you so much, Kurt, uh, for all your work. I mean, just can you imagine? I and mean, he's doing this on his free time, you know on lunch, after work, weekends, whatever, and Blade Matter for putting the spreadsheet together. We're happy to share this information with the public. That's why we give you the link. You click on it. You can get this information. We're building a library here. Um, I think it's great. I really do. Some people are just blown away. And, uh, and when you think about it, it is really good because for a long time I've been saying, why do we not have an industry group that does this, an independent lab that tests these knives? M millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of cutlery sold a year around the world. So, in any case, I'll quit talking to you. Flanagan's back. We're all back from uh, SHOT Show 2019. Flanagan went along. He, he didn't make any of the pictures. So he didn't know he was there, but he was there the whole time. Thank you so much. You know what we do. We love them knives and we want to know what we're buying. So you guys stay sharp.